As a kid, I would always vacation in northern Michigan. I got family all over the state, so naturally, that's where we would go. And one thing I always loved about Michigan is the fact that they have standalone soft serve ice cream stands all over the place. You know, being the, the chub that I am, I love ice cream. Ice cream, especially soft serve ice cream, is definitely my favorite food. My favorite type of soft serve ice cream brand would be Dairy Queen. We got one in the mall here. I just don't feel right about going to a Dairy Queen at the mall. To me, they belong in their own standalone location. Just give me the ice cream, that's all I want. An ice cream Dairy Queen standalone stand. In California, there's Foster Freeze, and there was one in the town that I grew up in. There's two in Santa Rosa, which is where I currently reside. There was one in Sebastopol, which is about 15 minutes away, and that one closed down about three years ago. I went there about, I don't know, a couple months ago and I shot a video just to see what kind of condition the Foster Freeze was. Recently I was hanging out with a friend's dad and my friend's dad said the place had been totally demolished and they were starting building on something else. So today I want to see if there's any truth to that. Oh yeah, and another little update about an abandoned place. I did a video a while ago about a place called the Green Mill. Apparently they just got bought by the company Hot Monk and they have a couple of breweries locally here, Novato, Sebastopol, Sonoma. They're awesome. So apparently they bought the Green Mill and they're going to return the Green Mill into what it once was. Right on Hot Monk and yay to the Green Mill. I'm gonna leave links to the Foster Freeze video and blah, 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 the Green Mill video below so you can check those out and see what they are. And then I'll go back to see what they become. So, or well, I'm going back right now. So yeah, let's hit the road. Come on, let's go, woo! minor little detail but I love how the old 1960s parking lamps are still here and I'm wondering if they actually work and if they're gonna use them when they reopen whatever's gonna be here I would love to get my hands on one of those tables super 70s <laughs> I'm really curious what ends up with this foster freeze my vote would be to take it and make it a reinvention of the franchise, kind of like In-N-Out Burger. The infrastructure is already there and, and the name is cool and the tie back to nostalgia and memories of the past. Across the way here where they're building these houses, you, may, you, got, a, you got a built in hipster clientele that would love to eat high end burgers and fries. Well, I'm not gonna waste this video on just a burned out old building. Let's go over to the Patrick Emio neighborhood and see what's over there. <laughs> yeah. So if you've seen any of my past videos, you'll recognize the scenery and you'll recognize the Wicked Witch back here. This is Florence Avenue in Sebastopol. The artist who does all these statues lives right down the way. His name is Patrick Emio. And once again, I'll leave links to all this stuff below. My other videos that I've done here and also his website. But we're just gonna check out and see what he's got at his house because he's always got like tons and tons and tons of stuff at his house, tons of sculptures. Maybe he's even there, who knows, but let's go. Yeah.
Yeah, I don't know if you could read that sign, but in order to live in Sebastopol, in a three bedroom, two bathroom home, a rental, it's 2,800 bucks. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed my tour, very brief tour, of the Patrick Emio neighborhood in Sebastopol, Florence Avenue. And I did another video there a long time ago, I mentioned this before, down below, so you can see that one. It's a more in-depth tour of the neighborhood. Oh, PatrickEmio.com, I believe, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, yeah, Foster Freeze. They should get on that, you know, just start reinvigorating the franchise, clean them up a little bit, strip it down, you know, keep everything real, real small and focus on quality and people will pay the money. And when you do something like that, everybody will be excited about your brand. Looks like the building could still be salvaged into something. So right on guys, I hope you enjoyed the little tour and be kind, rewind. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah!